Hi, Alex. If there was anybody more fair and balanced, it would be you. Um, I, I, I totally disagree with John. Uh, I have been a listener for you for over 10 years. What I wanted to say is I think this, uh, this uh, letter that Charlie Sheen wrote is spot on. I think it's great publicity. Um, maybe put, people should put letters to the editors out in all their publications and all their magazines and newspapers around the country. And I plan on being down in New York on uh, 9-11, and I will be out there protesting with one of my Alex Jones t-shirts. Well, awesome. And and again, Charlie's saying, okay, I went public to get more people to go public, and a lot of folks through his courage did. He's saying, I'm going public even bigger now. You know, He's going on my show repeatedly live this week, video. He's going to do media. Uh, not just my show. And uh, he's kind of taking my advice on what I think he should do and shouldn't do. So people can send us emails at sheen at infowars.com of your media. But uh, I've got the national media calling me saying, is this really Charlie Sheen's letter? Did he really write this? Yes, Charlie Sheen's been on the show before. You just heard him. So I keep playing the clip, the short clip. The bigger clips are coming up tomorrow and the live stuff. And this is real. And Charlie's asking people to go out and to get politically active, and he wants the media and press conferences to ask Obama about his letter. That's why it's done in that context. This is the meeting he wants to have. He wants to make this about Obama facing this. So this is a way to publicly face him in a simulation of the meeting. Do you understand? I understand perfectly. And and the other thing is, too, that even reading this letter, I have been, um, you know, right on board with 9-11 was an inside job. And he brought some things to my attention that I did even research myself with six or, uh, of the 10 9-11 commission have uh, you know, come out publicly. So he is bringing even more information. You can tell he has definitely, definitely uh, did the research him himself. Nobody is spoon feeding Charlie Sheen. And that no, no, Charlie, what... Charlie did 90% of the work. I mean, I would sit there on his back porch with him for like 10 hours, then we'd go inside. When it got dark, we'd just, with the, with the laptops out researching, and, and, and he, he did 90% of the letter, and then the rest putting it all together and presenting it, we did. Not We do a perfect job, but no, no. I mean, Charlie Sheen is just such a focused, passionate, serious, professional humanitarian. I mean, he, you know, he doesn't do this. Probably don't want me to tell this story, but when Charlie drives to work, there's this big, long, giant hill, like a mile and a half, that all the help for the gated community he lives in come up to. And, they, and the bus stops down the hill, and, the, and these people walk up. And Charlie and his dad, and when he comes to the house, they stop almost every day and give people rides up and down the hill. And, and the media never knew that. I mean, that's, that's what's so sick about this is he's so private, so quiet. He doesn't want accolades. He doesn't want praise for this. He knows they blew up the towers. He's freaked out by it. He can't go to sleep over it. How do you know that six of the ten commission did you're saying it's a fraud and the media is acting like you got three heads if you talk about it i mean the sheens are real people and they're not the image and the distorted view that the media uh you know puts out as purely leftist or purely right wing uh and and, and you know they've gone through a process too a lot of it for my films and material and it's happening to other people and there's a revolution of ideas and, and charlie's like galileo saying the earth is not the center of the universe you know because he's prominent, he has a lot to lose, and it's just beautiful. And I, I hope people understand the magnitude of the courage that we're seeing here. And I just wanted to also wish a, his birthday's on the same day as my father's on September 3rd. And I also yep. wanted to wish him a happy birthday. And, uh, you know, great work job uh, that you both have done. And I, I'm so proud of both of you. And you guys inspire us. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I am going down to New York uh, on September 11th, because we need a big outcry. We need more people. Uh, this has been kind of, uh, you know, dusted under the rug. Uh, the 9-11 first responders, I mean, have been completely completely and utterly put on the back burner. And we and are I, change has been fighting and, and trying to get the bills passed to just get a medical care. I appreciate your call. Great points. And then the establishment that committed these atrocities, they sit there and pose like, oh, it's for the firemen and police and military when they're blocking basic health care because they knew from day one the dust was going to kill them. And now, what is it, 4,000 first responders plus have died. All the police dogs have died uh, as of years ago of all these weird cancers. 
all uh, Mount Sinai's and all these other big facilities in California and New York have done the scans uh, of their lungs. You can, in fact, Google that. Uh, CT scans prove WTC workers have deadly dust. And, you know, we can pull up the headlines. But the point is that the EPA was ordered to cover that up. But, but here's another example. I was telling people months ago, well, years ago, I said, go to city council, go to congressmen's public meetings, go to these town halls, go take over the events, bring up real issues. And the media a couple months ago said, oh, it's all fake. Republicans are financing this against the socialist health care. It's eugenics health care, not even socialist. All this is happening. And they just went on and on and on and on saying it wasn't real. And later they had to admit, okay, it's real. Okay, you're not AstroTurf. Okay, you're not Nazis. Okay, our union people have been ordered to beat you up. And the White House is ordering people to snitch and spy. And think about this. Obama comes out two weeks ago and says, we're going to ask your kids to work for us and to help us. And Al Gore is out telling kids, don't believe your parents about man-made global warming. They're wrong. It's real. Your parents are wrong. That was all in the teaching materials. They had to take that out. So then he gives this milk toast speech and says, oh, much ado about nothing. I just said stay out in school and off drugs. See how they do these psyops, these bait and switches? And they just do it right out in front of everybody. But it still doesn't matter. People see right through that. People see right through the fact that it does get rid of your own insurance. It does take control of the doctors. We've read the subsections. It does have the eugenics bioethics panels that decide when you can live and when you can die. It's all in there. It's all real. Mike, Chris, and many others, your calls are coming up. 1-800-259-9231. Continuing with your phone calls. Some financial news coming up next that just makes my head spin. Everything's happening at once. These are the times that try men's soul. History is taking place right now on so many fronts. Be active. Be involved. You can change history right now, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us.